to all of you beautiful stupid babies, and there's hundreds of you who have been commenting about the fact that you're disappointed in Indrani not taking me to experience street food here in Calcutta, you need to be aware of something. The last time I was here in September, I got jacked up. I got a stomach bug because we weren't paying attention to what I was putting into my body that lasted for two months. When I got back to the States, I was still messed up. So much so that I was beginning to get really concerned when it didn't go away. She's being extra, 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 extra loving and careful. Thank you for your concern. Enjoy the rest of the videos and the vlogs. I am not going to risk my health just to experience street food. You don't like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> not really. Ooh, savage. <laughs>
What kind of pepper is this? I don't know the name. It's just you green said chili. Green chili pepper. You said just take a tiny bite. Yes. Tiny. And you'll see how hot it is. Just like a serrano pepper. It's a lot like a serrano. Careful. Nice. It's just like a serrano. Yeah. yeah. So this is cauliflower again, right? And you put it on the rice and you mix it up. Right? Yes. <laughs> How is it, baby? What else is in there besides the cauliflower? The seasonings. <laughs> I can't even tell you what's in there. That is so freaking delicious. Wow. Okay, just let me show you the difference between me and the Bengali girl over here. Uh, look at the way she has cleaned her fish. She said that Bengalis are known as cats. So take a look at what take a look at what she has done. See that? Bone, spine, pick clean. What did the American buffoon do? America. You lick your finger, you lick the rice off of your fingers. To get ready for the next thing. Yes. Hey Corbin. Come on, Miles, you ready for India? Open up the leaf. Yes, and that's paid to keep up the leaf. Amazingly, with how strong the mustard smell is, and how strong mustard can be, it doesn't overpower. It's the predominant flavor, but the other seasonings on the fish are right behind it. When I eat food in America, I can guess some of the things I'm tasting. Not really. You guys use so many more spices and spices that we don't use in our cooking. It's astonishing how rich the flavors are. This is papta mach. Papta mach in Russia. Uh, the flesh is white and it melts in your mouth. better on this fish. Aw oh, yeah. So Andrani wants me to taste a little bit of the mustard. It's like the stone ground German mustards on sausages and things. The kind, that's the only kind of a mustard that like Rich Oldhofer would put on his food. Plain yellow mustard, Rich despises it. As a German, he's like No, that tastes like German mustard. 
strong, stone ground, a lot of complexity. That's fantastic. That would taste really good on sausage. What's wild is the way, because mustard is an overpowering flavor. And that's one of my least favorite things about the way people do fish in the United States. What they often do is they will put sauces all over the fish and you cannot taste the fish. All you taste is the sauce. Whereas here, you've got these really vibrant, strong, rich sauces, but I can still taste the fish. And they're mild, sweet fish. They're not a powerful. Yeah, it, it, so it's a, it's a mild fish with powerful flavors, rich flavors that don't overpower the fish. I'm a, it's truly astonishing to me. Never had anything like this in my life. Yeah, this is unquestionably like, if, if this was a place in LA, I would be telling everybody, you don't know, you've never had really good seafood outside of the American palate. And if you think you understand Indian food, you need to taste other regions and you've got to go to this place and try this Bengali seafood. It's unlike anything I've ever tasted. It's ma magnificent. Magnificent. Finger bowl. Take the lemon, squish it in your hands, and scrub all the dirtiness. Very soothing. Everything about Bengal is soothing, my friend. It's that easy, Corbin Miles. It's that easy. And what is that lovely thing that we're eating? Vanilla ice cream and mihi dana, which is a mishti of Bengal. Type of mishti. So. Blend of both worlds, just like us. That's, I don't want to sound corny, but that's delightful. So that orange stuff is, is what? Mihi dana. And what exactly is it? I do not know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Doesn't it go really well with the vanilla? It's warm. Which reminds me of the way apple pie is done with vanilla ice cream in America. Because apple pie is served warm, same with peach cobbler. But that is so subtle. The ice cream is the predominant flavor. This other thing adds the temperature and the texture with a slight additional flavor that's really, really just like the hat put on top of the vanilla. Yeah. Right? The whole body's vanilla. And then there's this little hat put on top that adds a little pizzazz. And it's a different kind. It's almost a fruit sweetness. Almost like a mango sweetness. Yeah? But it's not. Oh my freaking goodness. Wow. Okay. What we had in Los Angeles was made by the devil. It literally tasted like it had been soaked in perfume. So it's a digestive, but it's also a breath freshener. Big time. The scope of colors, it's like fireworks went off in my mouth. Wow. So you already know this about me, that I like to take a nap. In the afternoon. Yeah, and you told me that was very Bengali of me. Mm. Bengalis like to take afternoon naps. Especially. I know why. Now you know why. Now I know why. Because if you eat a lunch like that, 
and step out into the sun that we just stepped into. It's mm. nice and warm. Yeah. I still have a little remnant of the pond in my mouth mm -hmm. with a full tummy. Mm -hmm. Lazy. Feel very lazy right now. So among the other things that Indrani's teaching me about Bengal and Bengalis, she's letting me know that if we had met in a different way and I was wanting to attract her for the very first time, there's really only one way you attract a Bengali woman. And it begins with this. This is a lesson on how to attract a Bengali woman by Indrani. <laughs>